everyone, welcome to Diorama update number 51. Today's update is going to be kind of a short one. I've only got two projects to go over, uh, so let's go ahead and get right into it. The first one is my Horizon Island T62. Uh, this is a fictional tank uh, that I'm still working on, lots to do, um, but I have gotten it to a point where there's a diorama base, an idea, and the tank is coming together pretty well. First thing I want to show you guys are the tracks, which unfortunately you really won't see much of because uh, they're going to be partially covered by these uh, Challenger 2 side panels that are going on this and as well as the marshy grass. So the idea of this is the tank is going to be partially submerged in a swampy, marshy like area, right? And this is going to be the road leading out of it. There's going to be a guideline, just a stick with a wire heading this way and basically uh, that's going to be the guide for the column to uh, you know to get across the marsh right uh, so this is taking place in the islands uh, all sorts of different terrain and whatnot uh, but yeah there's a few spots you'll be able to see the tracks like the front there uh, where that rust is taken over you know, kind of the back there's another spot like right there uh, but you know, this thing is pretty messed up and that's how we like it uh, now keep in mind this is a fictional t62 of a fictional island nation based off of a video game arma 3 uh, kind of running with ideas but it's basically make it how you want it and the idea is that they have these old tanks uh soviet and american uh, and British and whatnot, right? They have these really old tanks that just kind of got dumped off there and they just throw them together. Uh, and they're partially backed by NATO. So they've got certain weapons like uh, M4s and bullpups and they got a UN bucket and the Challenger 2 side panels uh, to protect from getting ammo racked and a lot of old like US Army equipment like those packs there. Old stretcher, old medical bag, cooler, got a boonie hat with some uh, straps coming down, it's nice camouflage coverings, a really rusty extra ammo box for the 50 cal that is up here, and then telephone wire for the call box in the back which is actually a cooler that's gonna have a map on the inside. Uh, so basically the storyline is the column is gonna be halted. Uh, the crew, one of the crew members got out and is sitting over the 50 hatch in case they get ambushed and he's drinking some water. He's gonna have a meal there. It's gonna be the tank commander. He's gonna have his rifle and a, uh, like a map case, like a map carrier. Basically TC's vehicle commanders all got out and they met him in one spot. Uh, went over the, the route one more time before they head out of the marsh. Uh, so imagine there's like 20 vehicles, a few in front and a few behind. Uh, since they're a Port Island nation, the vehicle behind this T-62, the commander got out and he's looking at the map that's going to be on the inside. So uh, I have him on a stick right now so you can't really see how he sits, but he's going to be looking up at this guy talking uh, while he looks at the map there. So there's some uh, cool ideas I had. But uh, yeah, this thing's coming along pretty well. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Uh, all the rust is, I've got a little bit more to add. I'm gonna add a light red color in a very few areas. But for the most part, the rust is, on this thing is done. Uh, not, yeah, so really happy with how that turned out. Concrete armor shot up pretty good. Uh, I gotta add a radio antenna and then a flag antenna in the back and put a fly on there so uh but yeah this thing is going to be submerged in water my plan is to do it up to about halfway up the track so I'll probably have to put down three layers uh, so i'm going to tape i'm going to put a wooden balsa base around the foam and then i'm going to tape off the rest with uh this masking tape i'm going to do like four layers that way i know it will you know seep through after I seal the wood and the foam. I'm gonna put paste down, make sure that dries, then put the then put the uh, tape around. And once all that's set and have the figures done, have the tank done, 
I'll glue it down onto the base, make sure that's dry, and then I'll start adding the water. So that'll be really fun. Um, as well as here's the tracks. I did some experimenting. I wanted them to look rusty and nasty. So I one sided it heavy with a concrete powder. The other side I didn't. I like the left hand side a little more. It just fits better. So I'm gonna have to take off some of that concrete powder. But yeah, it looks really nice. Really rusty and just nasty. So also here's some better look at the figures. I gotta paint their flush, uh, do some touch ups in some areas. Looking good. All right, so the next project I'm working on is a commission build for a friend's father. And this is a one to 35 scale D-Day uh, kind of vignette almost, but I'm calling it a diorama. Basically, it's gonna be uh, hedgerows, right? These, these are the skeletons for the hedgerows. I picked the sticks out specifically for what I wanna do. And I got a big tree in the back that I'm still working on, obviously. But basically, it's gonna be a big tree using seafoam. Uh, the hedgerows are gonna be made, the tops and like shooting out angles are gonna be made with sea foam, and then the rest is gonna be filled with different types of foliage. Um, it's gonna be two US Airborne troops right here, kind of looking inward. And then there's gonna be, I think, four Germans running by. Uh, and then there's gonna be one more American hanging from a tree in a parachute. And that guy is right here. He came early. So this is uh, from AliExpress. You can kind of see all the details there. I gotta do some configurating, like on his boots. Got to make them look like they're hanging his head. I got to make his head look like it's hanging down. And then his arms, uh, the left one or his right goes on a pack. Uh, I'm going to have to make it look like it's tangled up in the wire. And then, because uh, if he was dead, it wouldn't just hang on the pack like that. And then that one just hangs straight down. So it'll be fine. But basically the idea is this guy, uh, when he jumped, he landed in a tree and, uh, you know, got shot up or something you know common scene on d-day unfortunately but um, just thought that'd be a really nice touch to help bring this into the d-day light uh, you know the germans running by a couple of them have their heads looking to the left so it's gonna look like as they're running by they see the break in the hedgerow and they see this guy hanging there's gonna be some stone walls uh wooden gate uh it's part of a wheat field over there and then the uh the wheat wagon i call it <laughs> And then this is just going to be a little grass to patch. So, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I've been kind of busy with work. I switched units, so I'm starting the checkout process in the military, and uh, you know, working on this stuff and hanging with family and whatnot. I mean, keep me pretty busy. So uh, that's why there was no update last week. All right, so yeah, that's why there was no update last week. You know, like I said, it's been busy with family and work and whatnot, but. Uh, Here's some close-up shots I took last night after I went, or before I went to bed, after I applied the second color of rust to the T62. Let me know what you guys think about this build. Uh, my buddy and I want to keep doing different types of old-school vehicles in the Horizon Island pattern and style. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you guys think about that. And here's some pictures I took yesterday of my family and I up in the hills behind our home. We went for a little walk yesterday. Uh, saw some cool face carvings on the side of a wall. Got some really neat reference photos for sand, dirt, rocks, stones, uh, just different types of elevation. And also there were some uh, kind of look like hedgerow bottoms, right? Like right there on the left and right hand side, almost like hedgerow bottoms. It's kind of kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying working on the T62. Uh, hopefully by the end of next week, it'll be done. And I'll also be working on the uh, Normandy build throughout the week. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Stay safe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.